Welcome back to the one on one sessions with Gogo Musawe, and I'm your host, Gogo M. Giving you guys tips, lessons, and teachings on everything spirituality. Okay, so today we're doing another dream translation, and this one I'm excited about because it is about going back to school. But I'm gonna emphasize this once again. My number is for consultation portions only. Please do not send questions there. Leave your questions on the comment section. I don't know how many times I've said, I think I've said that in every single video since I opened this channel and it's been like three years now. <laughs> Y'all still don't listen. <laughs> I'm complaining. Don't be fooled by me, love. I really love like most of the times, but I'm like complaining deep down in my heart. I'm not happy about it, right? So we're going to have a translation about having dreams where as use yourself going back to school or you dream of yourself at school name so you might find that you have graduated you have left school ages ago but you constantly keep dreaming of schools man and dreaming of, a, of school is actually a huge spiritual has a huge spiritual significance but it is also important to look at the different definitions so you can be able to interpret the dream properly because not all dreams of going to school mean that you need to Ne? some other dreams have other definitions to them ne? the first thing it indicates spiritual journey and teaching so it means you have to initiate you have different certain teachings spiritual teachings you need to go through this can be prophetic teachings in most cases but in other cases they can be traditional teachings ne? this is an initiation a prophetic training or learning more regarding your spirituality one thing that i always tell people is that you do not go to initiation and say that I know it all. Mm -mm, it doesn't happen like that. Spirituality is a very broad thing. It's so broad. Honestly, it is extremely broad. And Linda, personally, if I had said, well, okay, I've initiated, I know enough, there are a lot of things that I feel like I would be clueless about even today. Man. So in spirituality, it's quite important for one person to actually continue to try and learn more. Man. Certain knowledge you may certain knowledge you may gather but you may not need it right now but you never know when you need it so this can be an indication that you are being too comfortable in the little breadcrumbs that you know right now go out and learn more there's so much more about spirituality that will blow your mind and will give you more clarity and i actually love this definition because i'm that person oilongore when i'm passionate about something i go crazy i want to research i don't know, know the ins and outs of it and that is one thing that i've done a lot with this channel because i always want to know more about spirituality so this translation goes like it hits hard <laughs> number two your spiritual guides are letting you that you are that they are bringing a lesson in your life you need to pay attention so in life there are a lot of lessons that we need to learn Ne? this lesson can come in the form of the people that we encounter some lessons can come in the form of situations that we encounter but at the end of the day you need to learn something from every single situation and there are certain situations where as your answers are like you must not miss this lesson because this is a lesson that will impact your life greatly from here onwards to better you as a person ne? so this particular dream may not necessarily mean that you need to further your knowledge in terms of spirituality or you need to go and initiate or do a prophetic training but it can be an indication that your ancestors your spiritual guides ne, are telling you that you're about to jump into a timeline whereas you are gonna receive the biggest lesson of your life and you need to pay close attention because this lesson is gonna impact your life drastically right number three it indicates that you focus too much on your past and it will cloud your future so understand that let's say for example you've like left school ages ago ne? so school can be a representation of the life that you lived in the past right it doesn't necessarily have to be school maybe for example you used to be a party animal right so now you went to a point where as you don't do that anymore but you sit down you think about it like oh the good old days and it's putting you to a point where as you're not even noticing the the beauty of the kind of life that you're living now and you're not even noticing the beauty of the future that you have so it's very it's very dangerous to focus on your past way more and sometimes when you dream about going back to school it can indicate that in fact you need to shift your focus a bit 
because busy looking backwards you won't see what's ahead and you're gonna miss out on so many amazing things that are meant for you so shift your focus the past needs to be left in the past name number four it can also mean that you need to learn from your past experiences so that is a bit of a rebuttal to the previous translation, but it's very important, right? Like I said, this life, we have a lot of lessons, name, yeah? And some lessons, they go overhead. Like, we don't get them. We don't understand. We're like, okay, this happened. I'm supposed to learn something from this, but I'm not learning nothing, yeah? Because us as people, we, we prefer comfort, yeah? We prefer a comfortable thing. We prefer, we prefer a comfortable life, whereas we don't want to look at the lessons we're supposed to learn instead we're just gonna be on some you know what i'm comfortable not knowing or not being educated in that and that is going to kill you in terms of growth so you need to look back on past experience and learn from them that way you don't continuously make the same mistakes as you used to for example you might find that you are a person who's constantly making the same bad decision you're constantly going back to the same type of partners even if it's not the same person but people with the same characteristics you're not learning from your past and that is going to affect your future because you are moving in circle as opposed to moving forward so it's important to look at your past learn from it and once you let it go at least you let it go knowing that i have gathered this type of information and it has made me a better person it has grown me that is not even a real term but you know that kind of thing yeah? number five you are urged to do some self-introspection yeah? so school can also because i understand that the school like the school system on its own that is the one place where we get to learn so much more about ourselves yeah? you get to learn so much more about the person that you are the kind of character you have and the people that you need to have in your life yes you can also mold the kind of person that you'll be in the future but lona it also because in the process of it like you can try to morph yourself into this kind of person but in reality see that no this is not working for me so when you're going to school like the times where we're going to school when we're going that is one of the biggest times where we get to learn more about ourselves so dreaming about school may mean that you need to sit down with yourself and do a lot of self-introspection so you can actually be a better version of yourself in a sense me. um and the last translation for this is that you need to gather and gain more knowledge in general me. so this could be regarding anything in your life let's say for example you're going to an interview and you part about it you pray about it you ask your answers and say you know what guys i really want this job but instead you clear the dream of yourself in school that is them telling you that okay you want this job we get you we want to give it to you but you need to get more knowledge regarding this particular field that you want to enter that way you'll be able to get success at the end of the day with it poetry baby poetry i'm so smart <laughs> anyways that is it for this lesson for this dream interpretation hope you guys fully understand it and like i said in previous videos of dream interpretation it is very important for you guys to understand um to pay attention to your emotions the environment around you and everything else that is being said and done within this particular dream that will actually help you in guiding you as to which one of this translation is the one that your ancestors wanted you to get when they gave you that particular dream because understand that dreams come in the form of riddles and most of the times we are not able to understand our dreams because of lack of knowledge in terms of interpreting them so when you understand the environment around you will make it so much easier to fully interpret and understand this dream anyways thank you guys so much for joining me i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video Take care. Bye -bye.